Hi guys, are you ready for a crazy idea? Okay, how many of you have a piggy bank like this? A big piggy bank that usually comes with one of these annoying things on the bottom so when you, because obviously you're not supposed to get the money out for a while, but sometimes you need to get into the piggy bank or your kid decides they want, you know, you want to treat your kid to go into the store and you know that they have money saved and they want to spend their own money. So getting this thing out becomes a pain. I've actually used my looming tools to get it off of the pig. I've had it accidentally fall inside the pig when I was doing that, which was annoying. So I started thinking there's got to be another way to kind of have this pig be plugged up so that we can get into it a lot easier. Yeah, I found a way. It's a knitted hat, okay, that I just kind of plugged into the hole, as you can see, and I know it's very wrong to be showing you the pig's butt, but anyhow, it's the knitted hat I did for for my peekaboo brim. So I just pull it out. So I didn't want to give this hat to a baby because the yarn to me wasn't as soft as you would usually knit for a baby. And I'd used this obviously in a video you saw for the peekaboo brim. And I'll actually put a link for that in this video. So what are you gonna do? So I was like, well, I guess this is gonna become the hole plugger. So it kinda, you just kinda roll it up. So it creates the hole, and especially if it's a big piggy bank. Now this is, I have to say, only do this with kids that obviously know not to eat the money. Um, if you use it for kids that are younger, then you definitely want to have this up higher. But, and then all it does is it becomes a cute little thing. If I turn it back over, for the pig to sit on. So you can make it a different color and nobody will know that it's actually plugging up the pig's hole. They'll just think you have it on like a doily or something. The other plus size to using a hat is... When you take it off and you want to get the change out, just turn your hat over around the pig's legs. If this was a bigger hat, it worked better, but I don't have it. You can just put it around the pig's legs, shift the pig over, and shake it. And the money will go into the hat instead of going, you know. And then you can just slowly turn it back. Oops, see. Shake it into the hat, however much you want. And then when you're done, just gently move the pig back. Okay. And your money is in the hat instead of all over the place if you were doing this over top of a table or a couch or a bed or something. So the money's in the hat and you can keep shaking till it's all out. And that's what I like. And then my daughter can look through the change and decide, well, I want to take quarters, I want to take pennies. And then when you're done, you put the change you're not going to use back in and then you plug it back off with the hole. Yeah, I am a dork, but I can't help it. I had to share it because I realized that it's a crazy idea to me. It could mean that it could be a great idea for somebody else. So go ahead and keep your, your your scrap projects. When you make up a sample of something, don't immediately think, well, now what do I do with it? I got to throw it out. It's got no purpose now. You'd be surprised. A lot of your scrap projects can be used as dusting rags around your house. If they're not made with a yarn that you want against a baby's skin, but you needed to make up a sample to see, turn it into a dust rag. That way, you know, it works. It doesn't have to feel like you're not using the product anymore. Excuse me. So that was my crazy idea for the day and I had to share a way to use a little baby hat as a way to plug up a piggy bank so you wouldn't have to deal with these annoying little things anymore. Again, if your kid is old enough that they won't eat the money, you know, or won't put it up their nose, go ahead and try it. Or if you keep their piggy bank up on a shelf, it'd be a great alternative for the times that you maybe need to get in there. I mean, it's sad to say, I understand a piggy bank is for saving, I'm sure I'll get comments about why are you taking your daughter's money. We don't take it out of the piggy bank unless she wants something. She earns money, it goes in the piggy bank, and she gets to decide. Does it stay in the piggy bank or does it come out of the piggy bank? And we're trying to teach her early about that. So having an easier way for the money to go in and out makes her kind of more aware of what she wants to do with it. So I hope that this is one of those tutorials that you guys are going to, well, actually it's not a tutorial. One of my ideas that hopefully somebody likes. Have a great day. Bye.